Hey everybody, just an update to my solar powered shed. Um, I had, did have it up and running with a single um, Harbor Freight uh, 35 amp hour battery, um, which uh, with the way that the, you know, the sun's been setting early and uh, you know, it's been uh, kind of draining itself within a couple of nights and uh, you know, leaving the inverter on all the time was killing the battery. Uh, so ended up figuring out a way uh, to get a 12 volt timer uh, to keep the inverter off. So I picked up this little timer here on Amazon. Um, came with Chinese lettering on it. Uh, so I just uh, redid it per the uh, instructions. I, I relabeled it with a Sharpie. And uh, you're able to do something like you know, over a dozen presets, uh, all sorts of kinds of configurations with the day and time. Uh, have it wired up. Uh, so this way I, it turns on roughly 6 o'clock at night and turns uh, turns off at 6 o'clock in the morning. I now have two Harbor Freight 35 amp hour batteries tied together. They give me 70 amp hours. You know, my charge controller, Harbor Freight charge controller, shows that we've got 12.8 volts. Uh, this is my Harbor Freight uh, 200 peak 400 watt uh, power inverter, uh, you know, tied right to this timer. So the timer also has a manual override. I press and hold that. You know, the inverter is now on, and uh, here are my lights over here on the shed. Security lights. And this one's on at dusk to dawn. So if I cover that up. That's on now too. So that'll be turning on shortly, or once the uh, timer kicks on. This is how I mounted my panels. I may have to change the angle of that slightly to take better advantage of the lighting sunlight that we have here and the angle uh, of the sun at this time of year. So I may make it with a couple of preset brackets there. Uh, you can see little blue indicators on they're all even with this low light they are actually producing some power so you know we're 12.7 volts you know i'll come back over here and just press that i just shut off the uh, inverter and this cord extension cord goes over to the wiring for the lights inside the shed this wiring goes over to the three panels where it goes in to the back of the shed so all in all, pretty good. We'll see how the two batteries hold up together uh, with uh, some capacity, hopefully better capacity than the single battery. And uh, hopefully the timer, keeping the inverter off all day, will work in conjunction with that to give me some better capacity. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks.